Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. So today I want to talk about three things that will hurt your relationships with your clients. So as you guys already know, and if you've been following this channel for a while, uh, I pretty much speak with coaches every single day. Uh, I work with some coaches with their businesses. I also talk and connect with coaches. I've interviewed coaches on, on our channel. So I've done a lot of connect, connection building, a lot of research, and also I've, I own a business myself. So that in itself builds experience. So over the last three to four years, there's been three things that I've noticed that has really hurt a lot of the coaches that have a sports training business. Now, what you've got to remember is that when you have a business, okay, you need to improve on a daily basis, right? You need to improve your, your communication, you need to improve your confidence, you need to improve uh, just your overall organization and running of the business, okay? Because parents are exchanging something that is valuable. Well, they're exchanging two things that are very valuable to them. Number one, is goes without saying is their child right they're giving you their child to train and work with so it means that they trust you to do a good job the second thing of value is money right parents work very hard every single day to pay you what you have asked them to pay so these two things you need to always remember that in order to build a successful business, in order to, to be really confident, you need to be building these and working. So three things that I feel will really hurt your business are the following. Number one, a lack of confidence. So if you've got a lack of confidence, not just in your ability as a coach, but in your ability as a business owner, Essentially, that's going to hurt your business because parents will see through that. Some parents might not watch your training sessions because they might drop off their child and leave, which means they don't see what your training is like. You have a payment system set up, the way you reach out to, to parents, the way you ask for payment, the way you follow up with parents. Okay, So your clients will see that, and if they see that you're not confident, that starts to raise some alarm bells because they'll start to see, right, mm, I don't feel that this person is someone that, you know, we can trust to work with our child and also pay every single month for a high quality service. All right, so number one is a lack of confidence. And I feel that having a lack of confidence really kills a client relationships in this type of industry. Now, the second one is a lack of organization, right? So being unorganized. Now, being unorganized is the biggest killer in this industry because most coaches aren't organized in their personal life, which means that when it comes to business, you know, they, they have no hope. Right, they, the way they run their personal life is the way they they run their business, which means there's no set day set time with the training. The communication with parents is kind of sporadic. Uh, they allow parents to choose a day and time to train. Um, they'll arrive just before the training session starts, or they won't plan a training session for that session. Okay, so. Just a lack of organization and being unorganized is something that really hurts coaches in this type of industry. And also it's gonna hurt and kill the relationship that you have with your clients because clients will start to see that. If clients start to see, right, you're not following up with them or you're not reaching out on a set day to set time. Uh, if you're arriving just before the session starts, if you're not, really organized in your session there's no flow to the session your players will start to notice that and then whatever your players start to feel 
And since they will then pass that on to, to the parents who will then maybe, you know, they'll sit down, watch the session and, and think to themselves, do you know what? My son or daughter is right. There's no organization to this session. It's literally that he's just showing up and kind of going with it uh, on the day. Okay, so being unorganized is something that's really going to hurt, hurt your business. And it's also going to hurt the, the relationships that you have with your clients. Right now, the third one is poor communication. So poor communication, the way I see it, if you are a business owner, right, this can hurt your business in a number of ways. So if parents have reached out to you, either via message, uh, via email, text message, or they've called you because they want to talk about something urgently or they have an issue with something, right, and you haven't followed up with them, that's poor communication, okay? Now, another way that I see poor communication is how you are with your, with your players at the session. So if you aren't asking your players questions, if you aren't coaching them, if you aren't showing them, if you aren't telling them why we are doing this, then that I see is a is poor communication. Also, just communicating with parents what you're going to be working with with their child every single week. Okay, so it could be a small text message, it could be an email, just to say, hi Mrs. Jones, I hope you're well. This is Leo here. Just wanted to send you this message to let you know what we are going to be working on on our upcoming session with Bobby, Jimmy, or whoever the, their, their child's called, okay? So lack of communication is a big killer in, in, in relationship building with clients because if your clients are seeing that, right, Leo isn't really looking to build a relationship with us, he's kind of just showing up, doing the session, my son's going home and then we're showing up again and you know the relationship is cold parents will sense that and they, they will just go and look somewhere else for some for a coach that actually cares about them okay so just to recap the three things number one is lack of communicate lack of confidence right when you have a business and when you speak to clients Right? That's something that kills relationships with your customers. Number two is being unorganized with your business. Okay? And number three is poor communication. Right? So over the course of the, since I've been coaching, since I've been working with coaches, these are the three main things that I've seen that kills uh, client relationships uh, with coaches and their business okay so if you need more help reach out to me visit the description below this video there's there's a number of ways you can reach out to me to get more help with your business uh, if you have any questions for me then make sure to, to get in contact okay so thank you for watching and if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content